There were two, two major trends in readings at the time in New York. And one was that uh, people were starting to invite comedians to do readings. Uh, so what would happen is you'd have a reading, a comedian, a reading, a comedian. And that, so the first reading was great, and then there was a comedian, everybody's having a great time. And then after you see somebody perform, like, blah, 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 I'm talking, I'm holding the microphone, and then somebody goes back to like this. And it was, it was just a, it tone-wise, it just was broken. So, um, and that person was reading about their dead sister. So it was like, okay, that's a bum out too after the comedian. Literary Deathmatch, uh, it's four writers reading their own work for seven minutes or less. Uh, we have three all-star judges in the categories of literary merit, performance, and intangibles. They uh, hear the readers read and then make witty, zany, incredible commentary that changes everyone's lives. Uh, and then they pick two winners to go into the Literary Deathmatch finale, which is like uh, pin the mustache on Hemingway or we did a thing recently where we read one-star Amazon reviews of uh, very famous books and then had the audience and the, the finalist guests and the person who had the most points won Literary Deathmatch. So that's kind of the, uh, the thing. Uh, and it's pretty fun. We do it in 52 cities around the world right now. Uh, we've done 325 of them. It's insane. It's the most fun thing that has ever happened to literature uh, in the last eight years. Stephen Tobolowsky is a great example because that, that guy is one of the smartest, funniest, most talented people in the world. And because he's a character actor, people might not know that about him. They just see him a lot, and so he's recognizable. But uh, he did the show in Austin when we did the Texas Book Festival, and he was, he was judging performance. And I was like, oh yeah, I love this guy. I'm excited for him to do it. But he stole the show every single time in a really clever way. Uh, and so we brought him back to do it in LA almost two years later. And one of the poets that night, uh, Brennan Constantine, he read one kind of funny poem and one about his mother having dementia. And Stephen, for his, his talking about, uh, Brennan was making jokes and saying all this crazy stuff. And then at the end, he said, it broke my heart, it broke my heart, it broke my heart, it broke my heart. Four times! Only a professional would say it four times. And it, like everybody in the audience was like, Yes, like that was the moment. One of, one of the great judging standards of all time was Jeffrey Eugenity is judging in Helsinki at a, an event where only he and I were speaking English and he was judging intangibles. And uh, that was one of the most incredible things I've ever seen because he was just like, hey, I, I like the way your earrings moved when you spoke. Uh, he was, it was pretty incredible. So it's great. If we get him to judge in English, I, I don't know how good he'd be, to be honest. I've, I've heard a lot about MFA programs and things being like, you have to learn how to read your work. And thank God the poet voice is being killed off. I went to the store and, you know, that is almost dead. Uh, not totally, but it's getting there. And that's really great. But for us, um, some of the most awesome readings we've ever had are not the people that are being performative. Roxana Robinson just read in San Antonio, uh, and she followed Owen Edgerton, who's from Austin, one of the funniest, most performative, greatest writers. Like, talent-wise, you can't argue it. but. When Roxana came on and read from her book Sparta, she was just so still and quiet, and it was like the most haunting passage, and it was so beautiful, and people were just like, oh my god, like what, and, and what I always say is I love when people take the chance of reading serious or reading quietly, uh, as opposed to being like, eh, it's da 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 da, you know, because really, that's what we want, is we want, we want diversity both in, in terms of the different kinds of writing, but we want performative diversity too, because you learn that somebody reading quietly is actually just as good as somebody like going for it you know and and again it goes back to the idea that that the audience is the ultimate judge because they're going to be the people who buy the books and follow people on Twitter and are interested in this stuff so we're just talking about how great you were show stealer Tobolowski walking by I know you got to bring the comedic hammer he Look brought, at this handsome gentleman. He brought me in number three. That's always the danger slot. I know. <laughs>